Hardy attempts to skid off under the Hogan standing side. And it did indeed slice off his boot, Cullum. Graham Garrity giving it to centre back Ender McManus. Pumping high balls in. Well gathered by Evan Kelly. And Evan puts it over the ball. It took almost six minutes of play in the first half. He started proceedings. Cullum Coyle. Pumping it long again. And again, Evan Kelly does well. Brendan Riley is available. Surely a point. Yes, it is. Breaking ball falls for Paul Curran. Jason Sherlock is the target. Knocked away by Darren Fay. Comes over to Desi Farrell. Good play. This is Kieran Whelan. Goes for the point. And he gets it. Dublin are a bit dead in their boots at the moment. Mead playing with much more exuberance. Jimmy McGuinness, the long ball to Dermot DC inside, but uh, well taken care of. Given away, however, to Tommy Dowd. And Tommy puts it over the bar. Captain has scored for the Royal County. And Mead go back in front. Oh, lovely feeling by Brian Steins. Aided and better by some misjudgment by the Mead midfielders. Keith Barr, Pat Gilroy, Jim Gavin. Cutting through and the ball just squeezing out of his hands. Ender McManus can't hold it either. Strength will come for a lot here. Kieran Whelan, good shot, good put. Well done, Kieran Whelan. This is Damien O'Brien from Luke and Sarsfields. Cuts inside. Paddy Reynolds sends in a ball over towards Brian Steins. Cuts inside John McDermott. Oh, and a good save by Peter Martin. Brian Steins, not noted as a scorer, but really there he was intent on goal. Trevor Giles again. It's gone over the bar. Mead get a little bit closer. Graham Garrity from Central Stone pumping one in. Oh, Paddy Bourne, well done. Well, two of the finest catches we've seen have been by Dublin players, Paddy Bourne and Charlie Redmond. Given away. Comes over, Tevin Kelly. Back to Trevor Giles. Going and seeking and getting the equaliser. Level for the third time in Croke Park. Brian Steins giving it back to the man who gave it to him in the first place, Paul Curran. Over towards Jason Sherlock. Can he get inside this mead cover? Back to him and Harry. Weaving a lovely pattern and scoring a magnificent point. The wing back from St. Vincent's shows his forwards what they should have been doing. Dublin lead by two. It's a terrible ball by John McDermott. But there's enough uh, space left uh, to gather it before it reaches the sideline. Graham Garrity. Lobbing one in. It's danger for Dublin. Getting it back out to Trevor Giles, to Brendan Riley. Gets a boot to it and puts it over the bar. Croke Park has certainly come alive. The tension is mounting to fever pitch right to the final whistle. One point between the teams yet again. On the field of play, it's Trevor Giles. Hits it straight over the crossbar. Four points for Trevor Giles. And now it's everything to play for yet again.
since their first final in 1894, they've not had another draw in a final. In other matches they've had plenty, as I'm sure you're well aware of. 1991 was a first round. This is a final. Going through is John McDermott. Is this the winner, perhaps? It's over the bar. Barry Callahan from Barry. Puts Mead people rejoicing. The Blues have to throw everything forward now. Mick Deegan pumping it forward. Up towards Charlie. Leaves it fall behind him for Desi Farrell. They must not fall. Or else they've conceded an easy free. Desi Farrell still trying to swing one across. There's plenty of Dublin players there. Brian Stein, Sir Dermot Harrington trying to make an angle for himself. He loses possession and Jimmy McGuinness is there. Still McGuinness. Anywhere will do. But he shows his composure by giving it out to his midfield partner, Johnny McDermott from screen. Barry Callahan, he's the corner forward. Pumping it up towards Graham Geraghty, knocking it forward. Tommy Dowd, Geraghty has gone inside. He doesn't see him, he goes for the point, and the captain gets the point. What excitement in Croke Park. The blood spatter captain has given his team a little bit of breathing space. Dublin, the All-Ireland and Leinster champions are out. Mead are the new Leinster champions. And they did it with passion and heart and determination. What a gritty performance by the Royal County. This is the moment that all of Mead will celebrate. The dethroning of the All-Ireland champions Dublin and Mead being crowned Leinster champions for 96.